Good day. Welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today, as we continue to look at the Holy Spirit, the third person of the Trinity, we will see that the scripture tells us that the Holy Spirit abides or dwells in the hearts of the believers in Christ. He is in the body of Christ, namely the church. As we say, this is the age of the church. And this is uh, the age or the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. So since Pentecost, the Holy Spirit has been the power in the church he is the one who allow those who bring the message to spread the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ and he does so by calling out a people for his own name in the age of grace which is the age that we are in and the church the Holy Spirit is not greater but rather he came later he came after jesus ascended he could not have come until jesus left the earth jesus himself said if i do not go away the comforter will not come unto you but if i depart i will send him unto you saint john 14 verse 26 he the holy spirit is the spirit of truth there is nothing that he says that is not truth in fact i normally say the holy spirit does not tell lies and he testifies of jesus christ St. John 15 verse 26. So he has a role and he plays it well. The scripture says in St. John 15, sorry, St. John 15, yes, and verse 26, he says, When the advocate comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth, who goes out from the father he will testify of me and you also must testify for you have been with me from the beginning so he was saying to his disciples the holy spirit comes and he testifies of me jesus when jesus came he testified of the father and he says to the disciples you too must testify because you have been with me from the beginning we must testify because we have seen the holy spirit acting or abiding in us and also in the church the body of christ so the believers too must have a testimony of the holy spirit so in both the Old Testament and the New Testament, there are so many references to the Holy Spirit. And the Bible places great emphasis on the person of the Holy Spirit. We should allow him, as the scripture says, to teach us all truth concerning himself, concerning Christ and concerning God. Jesus himself taught concerning the Holy Spirit. We see is a first testimony Jesus gave regarding the Holy Spirit. This was before Pentecost. He says to us the Holy Spirit was the one who led him. The Holy Spirit was the one who taught him 
all things. St. Luke 4 and verse 18. He, Jesus requoted Isaiah 61 and verse 1 when he says the spirit of the Lord is upon me. He says it's the spirit that also anointed him. So as we see the Holy Spirit, Jesus thought about him. He spoke precisely concerning what he would do. He says the Holy Spirit even spoke in the Old Testament and caused it to be written. St. Matthew 22 verse 43 and 44. Jesus taught that salvation is due to the work of the Holy Spirit. St. John 3 verse 5 and 6 when he addressed Nicodemus that he had to be born again. He needed recreation. He needed the new birth and this is done by the Holy Spirit. He taught of the quickening power of the Holy Spirit in St. John 6 and verse 63. St. John 6 and verse 63. He, he, he says to us, uh, The Spirit gives life. The flesh counts for nothing. The words I have spoken to you they are full of the spirit and life in saint matthew 28 and verse 19 jesus gave the baptismal formula naming the trinity the father the son and the holy spirit jesus promised the presence of the holy spirit in the work of of his disciples the actual words that the disciples would speak when they go out and mission for him would be given by the Holy Spirit st. Mark 13 and verse 11 Jesus had a message for the church in reference to teaching and the teacher st. John 16 verse 13 through 16. He is the spirit of truth. His function, he glorifies Christ. St. John 16, verse 8 through 11. And we see the threefold great themes of testimony of the work of the Holy Spirit. St. John 16, 8 through 11 says, He reprove the world of sin, of righteousness and judgment. This is his work. As the Son spent his earthly life in seeking to glorify the Father, so the Holy Spirit spent his time in seeking to glorify the Son. Believers should spend time glorifying the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is one of the most important subjects in the scripture. But he is least talked about. For some reason, people are afraid to talk about him as much as they talk about the father and as much as they talk about uh, the son but the scripture is clear even jesus christ himself uh, testify or talks about uh, the holy spirit when we do many times he is uh, used or the way in which we talk about him the situation or the language sometimes become abusive more than any other subject as we say the Holy Spirit is dear in reference in the scriptures Satan tries to stop at nothing 
to make sure that when this subject is being talked about it is abused or it is misunderstood because there is a lack of study concerning him but let us remember the holy spirit is the third person of the godhead a part of the trinity and jesus himself testifies about him god the father is the one who sends him jesus himself had to rely on him as it he says in our lesson today jesus says i am being led by him i am being taught by him in saint luke 4 and 18 so let us as believers avail ourselves to him that he will do the same for us as he did for jesus when he was here on earth doing his earthly ministry god bless you thank you again for your support please like please subscribe and please share